Why are you doing this? Well, I'm having a difficult adjustment to my new beauty, but I do want you to know that I, I do like you. You know damn well that's not what I'm talking about. Why are you mocking me? Sally, mocking you is not my intention. Who put you up to this? I'm afraid I'm at a loss. Mr. Thibodeau, I just wanted to let you know that I've been thinking about the question you asked me yesterday. The question? Yes, the conversation we had yesterday when you asked if I found you attractive. Don't fret, Sally. It's no longer important. But I do find you attractive. Perhaps not in the classical sense, but I've always been drawn to men who Sally. are... Sally. Yes? This is very convenient, isn't it? Pardon? It's convenient that today of all days, you decide to announce that you find me attractive. I don't understand where the convenience lies. It lies in the fact that today I have awoken a changed man in possession of incredible beauty. Yet just a year ago, when I asked you if you would like to attend the Schnitzel Festival with me, you declined my invitation. I declined your invitation because my husband was suffering from spinal meningitis. And now that I'm handsome, your sick husband is no longer an issue. My husband died. Ah, the web of convenience has ensnared us once again. I don't know, we could go to Arkansas on Friday though to look at this veil. Oh my gosh, Gwen, they've got the best veil ever. It's kind of like a taupe though, but maybe we can bleach it out for more of a white. And also too, you're going to love it here I found on eBay. It's got like these little diamonds, but they look like little flowers too, little pearls on the inside. It's so pretty. Do my tits look bigger to you? I don't know, bigger than what? But anyway, page 96, lunch. I'm pregnant. What if the baby's not Jason's? Jesus, Gwen! I can't believe you let Billy in your damn apartment, let alone sleep with them. I mean, what the hell have you been thinking lately? Well, I guess I haven't been thinking lately, Libby. God, haven't you ever heard of lust? <laughs> I mean, every time I say hello to Billy, we have sex. Maybe you should stop saying hello to him, huh? What's going on, Veronica? How are you? Hi, good. Good? Have you been, uh, how's that menu coming along? Oh, really good. Yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, can you tell me what pesto is? Yeah, it's, um, oregano, sesame seeds, pickles, yeah. Uh, onions. Yeah, a lot of stuff. It's good. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's see if we can go back to dry storage and maybe work on that a little bit, huh? All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. yeah. What if someone was secretly filming you while you were choosing a snack? Would you make the right choice? Well, I wanted to find out, so I set up another hidden camera scheme of my own. I want to introduce you to Annie, who is an actress acting as a receptionist today. She'll explain that we're running late and they can help themselves to a snack from our free vending machine. Hi, how are you? Looks like we have our first victim. So you can have whatever you like, and I'll be back in just a little bit. Thanks to all of our guests, and special thanks to our accomplices who pulled off the hidden camera experience with us, Nikki and Annie.
At First Tennessee, we're getting your money ready for the game. Perfect. Uh, 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 Come on, you call that a growl? Uh, Tigers checking, only at First Tennessee. <laughs>